Hi everyone, in this video we'll talk about that how we can intercept and analyze Android traffic. Well, there are a lot of ways to analyze Android traffic. So the common one are passive analysis and active analysis. So by using passive analysis, we actually capture Android traffic secretly. So by using passive analysis, we will capture the data and then we can analyze the data later on. So what we can do, we can just simply sniff the TCP packet around the air and by using passive analysis, the main advantage is that our victim will not be able to know that we are actually capturing its TCP IP packets. But whereas in active analysis, we gather the data actively or on the fly. So let me give you one scenario by using active analysis. So here you can see active analysis by intercepting request. So the main advantage of active analysis is that we can intercept the request on the fly. So what it means, so you can see here, here is our browser and here is our server and we are using one tool as a proxy or a middleman that is Bob Suite. So Bob Suite is one of the most popular proxy tool that are used by security researchers. So here you can see that here is our browser, our proxy and a server. So what happened is, just for example, in our browser, if we open tutorialspoint.com, then the HTTP request of that tutorialspoint.com will first of all pass to our Bob Suite that is our proxy and there we can actually see the request or if you want to do the modification with that request then you can do. So then from here from our Bob Suite if we want to pass the request to the server then we can otherwise we can just drop the request. So this is how in the case of active analysis that we can intercept the user request by using some proxy tools. Now let's see how we can intercept user request by using Bob Suite in our system. Now let's see how we can intercept our HTTP request of Motion by using Bob Suite. So you can see here that our Sentuku VM operating system is up and running. So Bob Suite is one of the best proxy tool as used for security researchers and penetration testers. So Bob Suite is already installed in Sentuku VM operating system. So just click over here, go to Sentuku and you will see one category called as penetration testing. So let's go here and at the top there is one tool called as Bob Suite. So let me open it up. So Bob Suite looks like this. So Bob Suite is available for free version as well as for a pro one. So I recommend you to go for a pro one if you are a security researcher or security tester. So you can see here, so this is how Bob Suite looks like. So there are different different modules like proxy which is used for intercepting the request, spider which is used for crawling, scanning, intruder which is used for doing for various attacks like brute force attacks, dictionary attacks, repeater is used to send repeat request, sequencer, decoder is actually used for decoding some strings and compare and there are a lot of other functions. But meanwhile, we are interested only in proxy. So if I click over here on proxy, you will see a different sub options. So the first thing we have to do is we actually have to configure our Bob Suite to listen to all interfaces. So if you go here on proxy, just click over here on option and here just click on edit and make sure you have selected this one that is all interfaces so let me click on ok and let's go back here on intercept now what we have to do is our Bob Suite is ready to intercepting the request now we have to configure our Jenny motion so that our Bob Suite can actually intercept the request so before going that we first have to find out the IP address of our Sentuku VM operating system so the IP address is 192.168.0.148 so let's go back here to our Jenny motion. And now what we have to do is we actually have to configure this Jenny motion to a proxy. So what we can do is first of all we have to go to its settings. So let me click over here on Wi-Fi and let me hold it up and you will see one option called as modify network. So let me open that up. So here you can see that by default there is no proxy set it up but we will set up the proxy. So just check this box that is show advanced option and here you can see that the proxy is none. So let me click over here on proxy and let's click over here on manual. So here we have to fill some options. So the first thing we have to add is proxy hostname. So the proxy hostname will be the IP address of the Sentuk operating system that is 192.168. Dot or dot one four eight, and the proxy port is eighty eighty. 
so let me click on save so you can see here our Santuco operating system and here is our Bob sheet so you will see here that if I open our browser and if I write here anything like tutorialspoint.com so you can see that we are able to actually intercept our request so this is how our HTTP request looks like so with the help of Bob Suite we are able to actually intercept the request which are being made by our Jenny motion so you can see here that it's a get request it's HTTP 1.1 you can see the host you can see the user agent that's a Mozilla you can see it's an Android so you can see some additional informations like cookie so if you want to forward this request you can otherwise you can drop this request but make sure your intercept is on and if I go back here on Jenny motion if I click on forward let's go here so the thing to be noticed is that whenever you open any website in Jenny motion with proxy configured it will give you some various security warnings so every time you have to click on continue and let's go back over here so you can see that our tutorials point website is actually opened over here but thing to be noticed is that when you configure Bob Suite for the first time you will be unable to intercept the HTTPS traffic so the reason behind that is we have to install Bob Suite certificate inside our Jenny motion so that we can actually able to intercept HTTPS traffic so how we can do that how we can install Bob Suite certificate so all we have to do is we just have to open our browser so in URL just right here HTTP burp hit enter and here is one option called a CA certificate so just click over here and you can see here that our CACERT.DER certificate is actually downloaded now all we have to do is we actually have to install this certificate in our Jenny motion so how we can do that so before we install this certificate we actually have to change its extension so you can see here that the extension of this certificate is actually .der so we have to change it and we have to make it as .crt so how we can do that by using adv shell so let's go inside adv shell and now let's go inside mnt and sd card and you can see one directory called as download which actually contains all our downloaded files so you can see one certificate called as csert.der so let's rename this certificate to crt do ls and you will see here now the extension of the certificate is changed now what we can do we can actually install this certificate so in order to install this certificate we have to go over Jenny motion click on settings click on settings and let me scroll down let's go here on security scroll a little bit down and you can see here one option called as install from SD card install certificates from SD card so let me click over here and here you can see that certificate so let me open that up so certificate name you can give anything so let me just give it here burp suite and click on OK and you will see here that burp suite is installed now we can actually able to intercept the HTTPS traffic so this is how we can intercept HTTP and HTTPS traffic by using Bob Suite in our Centrico operating system. So in this video we talked about that how we can analyze and intercept HTTP traffic of Jenny motion by using Bob Suite. So thanks for watching this video.